Hello everyone, today I want to show you the Spanish learning folder. So a lot of you guys love my Tyler learning folder. My kids have loved the Tyler learning folder throughout the years. And then this coming year, I wanted to focus on Spanish, on learning Spanish, learning all of the basics for Spanish. And I wanted to have everything in a binder, in a folder, so that every day I can just flip the binder open and go through the different posters. I am so excited to show you guys because I loved how it came out. My kids are absolutely loving it. And your kids will love it too. So let me go ahead and show you what I have here. So this is an easel binder and I will link below in the description box where you can get it. Why I love this binder is because it can stand up. You absolutely don't need to get this. You can just use a regular binder, but I love this binder. As you can see, it opens up and it attaches at the back and it stays upright so that you can teach a whole classroom of kids if you have to. Um, or you can just teach your kids at home. This is for teachers and also for parents, for homeschoolers, whoever you are, grandparents teaching your children. Um, this is a great way to teach them with this folder. I also have a handy dandy pointer and I'll link below where you guys can get it too. I love pointers. It just makes everything so much fun. So in this Spanish learning folder, I start off with the alphabet and I have the alphabet and the digraphs. I also have the sounds um, for Spanish. I have numbers. I have numbers one through 30. I have colors. I have a lot of things. There's 27 posters in here. I have shapes. I have body parts. Pets. Clothing. Family. I have uh, days of the week, months of the year. All of the basic things that your kids need to learn, learn to master in Spanish is in this folder, guys. I did not miss one thing because I needed it for my kids, so I needed to have this in a binder. So I have uh, seasons. I have verbs, common verbs that um, so sitting, walking, swimming, jumping, sleeping. And I love these pictures, guys. I have different themes in this folder. So I have the beach. Learn all about the beach. I have the farm. I have the jungle. I have so many things, guys. I have common foods. There's a lot of uh, things in here. Let me skip over to the back to show you guys. I also have fruits, all of the fruits in Spanish, the most common ones at least. I also have um, vegetables as well. And let me skip through the back guys so I can show you. I don't wanna make this video too long. I also have parts of a house. I have so many things guys. Um, and I always like to end my folders with the continents. So all of the continents in Spanish. So this is 27 uh, posters to teach your kids Spanish. Um, I'm gonna show you in just a minute how I use it with my kids. They're loving it. Even my almost two-year-old is loving it and I'm teaching her a couple of things and helping her with her speech using this folder. Um, so let me bring my kids in the video and then we continue. Okay. Hello, so here I am with Jade. Say hi, Jade. Hi. Jade is five, almost six years old. We're gonna go over some things here with her. So we're gonna start off with farm, okay, Jade? Okay. How do we say farm in Spanish? Granja. Granja. Do you, okay, so let's point at the animals and say their names in Spanish. Nice and loud. Caballo, cerdo, cabra, vaca, oveja, gallina, pato. Muy bien, five. Now we're going to do another one, okay? Ready? Now we're going to play stickers. You can play little games with the folder. I like playing with stickers, with bottle caps. I'll show you just a few ideas today. Okay, Jay. Let's see, Jade. Can you find Caiman? ¿Dónde está el Caiman? Okay, pon el sticker ahí. Muy bien. Can you find León? León. Muy bien. Can you find Elefante? Elefante. Muy bien. Tigre, tigre. 
Muy bien. Mono. Muy bien. Y ahora, cebra. Jirafa. Muy bien, lo hiciste muy bien. And so, when you're first teaching them things, you don't want them to pronunciate right away, to learn pronunciation. You want them to learn things. So, by pointing, by putting stickers, by putting bottle caps. Thank you so much, Jay. We're going to bring Iris in now. Hello, everyone. Hi. So, here I am with Iris, and Iris is three years old. Iris, let's practice our numbers one through ten. Let's do it together with mommy, okay? Ready? Nice and loud. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Muy bien. Ok, ahora vamos a jugar otro juego. We're going to play another game now. And we're going to play with pets today, Iris. So what we're going to do is I want you to look at the pets. And I'm gonna call out different pets. Let me get the camera closer. Okay, Iris, ready? Lagarto. Can you find Lagarto? Let's see if you can find it. Muy bien. Next one, Culebra. Culebra. Muy bien. Conejo. Muy bien. Y ahora, Perro. Muy bien. Pez. Muy bien. Pájaro. Muy bien. Tortuga. Tortuga. Muy bien. Y ahora, gato. Y hamster. Muy bien. Give me five. Okay, so here I am with baby Emily, and we're gonna play a game with stickers. Ready, Emily? Here's a sticker, okay? Kids love stickers, and you guys can get these sticker books at the dollar store. Ready? Azul, ponlo aquí. Azul, muy bien, azul. Okay. Amarillo, ponlo aquí. Amarillo, amarillo, muy bien. Amarillo. Ok, ahora rojo. Rojo, muy bien. Ahora verde. Verde. Verde, muy bien. Ok, el próximo es morado. Morado. Aquí está el morado. Morado. Muy bien. El próximo es marrón. Marrón. Ten. Marrón. Aquí está el marrón. In the beginning, you guys don't, want, don't have to focus on the child repeating after you. Because the first thing is them learning the actual items. Naranja. Naranja. Okay, guys, so I've given you a couple of tips, a couple of games that you can play with your kids. Naranja. Um, I will link below where you guys can get this folder. Um, all you guys need is to get sheet protectors and put them in the sheet protectors. Um, and you can get any binder you want. I really recommend the easel binders because as you can see, you can work with the child. It stands up and it's amazing. Um, I will be having this folder and everything in my e-store half off, half price off, um, until Friday, so you guys can take advantage. Um, also, this is a Spanish learning folder, but I will be creating different languages for these folders. I'm going to be creating uh, an English one for those looking to just work with their kids in English and teach them the basics. I'm going to be creating a French one, um, different languages. If you guys are interested in a particular language, in the comments below, please tell me what language you're interested in. I will be translating all of these. I think they're awesome to teach kids. Um, it's an excellent way to teach all kids basics. Um, and you're going to, your kids are going to love it, especially if you play these little sticker games, bottle caps. There's so many different ways you can get really creative with these games. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I hope you have loved the Spanish learning folder for more videos like this. Please subscribe and uh, please check the links below for all the information on this folder. Bye-bye!